What is up guys? In today's video, we're finally, finally, reviewing the rat. Let's get into it. Shout out to Disc Golf Kid! Shout out to Disc Golf Kid! <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, shout out to Disc Golf Kid. He um, recommended this disc and said we should review it or something. I forget exactly what, his, what, he, what he said. We'll put that right here, the comment. So yeah, it's the rat. It's down the line of the zone, pig, harp, slammer. I'm sure there's some others, but it's down that line. But I think it's probably the most understable out of all of them. It's hardly even in that line, even though it looks like it. You can see it's got that flatness. It's got kind of that edge, that edge that is a lot like it. It looks a lot like a zone. Right here's a harp, and it's pretty much exactly like it. You can see there, and you can see that they're a lot the same. Um, the harp has a micro bead or whatever. Um, something like that. But this thing is pretty stable to straight. Like if, if I throw it on a backhand, it's gonna have that very dependable finish. Forehand, if I throw it really hard, I can get a little bit of a flip. And it's not quite as just like dependable as like the zone would be. The zone, I know I'm not gonna turn it over. This thing isn't quite that much. Until headwind especially, it'll turn right over without a doubt. But for those closer ones, I like it a lot better. You can land it flat and then not have to worry about rollaways and all that. It's a 168, so a little on the light. I thought someone was calling me. So it's a 168, a little bit on the lighter side. Um, pretty sweet color. But it, yeah, I mean like for me on the forehand, I have to pretty much always release it on a hyzer unless I'm really short, I can do little flexies. But if I'm throwing really hard and I release this thing like flat to anhyzer at all, it's going to turn over to the left. Um, but if I keep that on that hyzer, get a tiny bit of flip maybe and then have a decent little finish at the end. It's an awesome disc. I really like it for the shorter range. Um, over the zone. I've been using it some for that, but at first I really, 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 really liked it, but it's gotten a lot more understable and I don't like it quite as good as I did at first, but I still bag it and I throw it some. I forgot to mention that I did bag it. If you if you have a lot weaker forehand or whatever back forehand than a lot of people, this is a much better option than the zone. If you can throw anything over 250 with the zone, or if you're planning to throw over 2 to 250 feet, then the zone is probably better for you, or the uh, harp is a little more overstable. Unless you just want that little bit of flippiness, I don't know, whatever. But it's more understable than the zone and the harp. The zone is the most overstable out of them all. It's definitely not as overstable as the flight numbers say. Maybe it is. So as far as the flight ratings versus the actual flight, the speed of four, four. I would say that's accurate. It's pretty fast. Oh, it could almost be a speed six. I don't know. Glide of two, fairly accurate. Maybe maybe a three. It's it has a little bit of glide to it. Fade uh, turn of zero, probably yeah. But then the 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 fade of three. I don't know. To me, it doesn't seem like it has that much fade, but. Depends what you compare it to. Yes, it does, whatever. But it's just not that overstable. So yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for this review. Subscribe if you're new. We post reviews every single Friday. We've been posting reviews every Friday. Haven't missed a day since... The 6th of July. <laughs> since a long time ago. Several months ago, I think. So, been keeping them up. But... We may have a little bit of a pause because of our winter weather. We're going to pop up a couple sweet pictures of some winter that we've been having. Absolutely gorgeous, but for throwing discs, it's not so great. So, this is coming up. The day this comes up is in about five days from now. Three days from now. And then after that, we're going to come out with a Ranger H2O review, which is going to be an awesome review. And then after that, I'll review the grip, the grip EQ BX2 bag, awesome, Can't it hasn't come yet, 
but it's in the mail on the way and we'll review that two weeks or whatever. And then after that, it's gonna we're gonna be going to Florida and from then to probably like February, 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 whatever, just that month. We probably won't be posting quite as consistently just because of the weather and different stuff like that, but we're gonna try to get a little bit more of the bonus content out. Sorry, I'm really rambling, but more bonus content, such as why I wanna switch to Discraft and what I'm throwing as I switch and uh, cash around at Florida while it's warm and sunny and different stuff like that. And we'll still be dropping some reviews here and there, but we might miss a few Fridays. So just be aware of that. Come February, March, April, whenever it starts warming up, we'll continue to get back onto our every Friday, especially this summer. We'll be hitting it hard again. So yeah, stick around, subscribe, and I'm talking really weird, and I'm having a good time. So I just haven't been on camera in a while. See ya.